for uh, this project, we're going to work on uh, this uh, exercise uh, tube hanger. And uh, three views are given here with the isometric view. And notice uh, the front view we will create first. For that, we will start with this uh, piece one extrude on XY plane. Let's just begin uh, working on new sketch on XY plane. And I will start with a circle, snap to the origin and approximate locations, click another point for in response to the diameter. And we start the line tool and begin from the 270 degrees, 270 degrees quadrant, connect to that south quadrant, so to speak. And then we draw this shape. Don't be concerned being exact, just to create the shape, something proportion to what we have right now. And of course, we're going to come back and add relations and dimensions. Let's check the handout sheet, see what we have here. We have a four inches diameter of the cylinder, the outside circle here. And um, also we do have the location from the center to the end five. And also we have two in this case. So with those dimensions, five and four and two, we should be able to constrain this piece. So let's go back to drawing. Add in the dimension four, or five rather. Four for the diameter. And two for the slide. Okay, I do have one dimension needed and I do have need for one constraint here. As you see, this is intersecting. We need to have a tangent relations. And Inventor does a pretty good job on giving you the very quick tangencies there between line and the circle. There are, this is a flat surface, intersects with the rounded surface. You want to have a smooth transition there. So now we have this. Uh, you could trim this one to have one closed profile, or you can have two separate uh, profiles, which in this case you have to, of course, when you go to extrude, you would select both of them. And this is the key thing here, that you make sure that you go to both directions. And thickness for this, if I double check that, if you notice the thickness on this one, we are doing the small one here, 0 0.75. 0 0.75 for the directions, total directions, which divides in half in both directions equally. So this way you, I have selected this symmetric and 0 0.75 and accept. Okay, so now we have this shape. So if I repeat this process, so we have two ways of doing that, either on this face or in the back face. In that case, you have to go different dimension in bo both. Each direction is different dimensions. But if I pick the same plane that I started from, which was X, um, Y plane, X, Y plane, Right click on the XY plane and start a new sketch. Again, I'm repeating the same size circle, connecting the origin, and picking another point larger than initial one so I can add dimensions to that, which would be four. Now that circle is not visible because it's shaded and it's they are in the middle exactly. So you can also, if you want to see that, you can always check with the view, visual style, and switch to the wire frame. You can see that circle is exist there. And then we go back to the 
3D model. Of course, we finish the sketch and go to the extrude again. And this time we're going to select both directions again. This time is larger dimension. I believe it's 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 Let's go back, double check that, make sure it's, this is the dimension that we are adding 1.5. So that takes care of that part. Now let me go back to the shade again. As you see, the wireframe is not easy to view correctly. This is this. That's um, go back to the view, change back the visual style to shade it with edges. Okay. So now we have those. It's created, and the next step I'm going to do here is to select this face as uh, as a new work plane new sketch and uh, using the two points rectangle again snap to the lower corner and pick another point this approximate location and add dimension on between two lines to be exactly what's supposed to be i believe is one inch and that should be uh it says one dimension needed most likely is free on the upper portion let me go back to check the dimension one more time make sure that we have this one dimension one inch and okay the reason for that one dimension most likely did not i did snap to this corner but i didn't snap to any corner here because i picked the point here so most likely this is free to move if i'm press escape key get out of dimensions and press the left key and then you see that it's free to move so if i constrain that i should be okay so how we can consider that we can add dimension to it if we want or try to do coincident between the point and point here that should fix as well because now those are connected exactly it's connected exactly so that's what uh, makes it fully constrained now if you notice here that we have this situation if i go back to the measurement here to some calculation you will see the dimension i'm measuring is from this face to the center that's what my goal is to get to the this piece this rectangle not to go to the end because that's a rounded shape so that will be much easier to come back at that rather than trying to subtract this feature here to make that rounded so i'm going to make this a rectangle so we need to go through do some calculation and figure out what is the dimension from here to here? If you notice it's the three inches and radius of this one is one, that would give you one minus, three minus one would be two, and then take another three quarter, that would be 1.25 from here to here. So let's do that and then go to finish the sketch. And extrude 1.25. Again, you can double check that calculation. Hopefully, it's correct. And now we have this. I will select as a new work plane. This would become my new work plane. And that would be new sketch on create, make a new sketch on this plane here. For this, I will create a circle, making this exactly the midpoint to be a center, snap into the corner to be the diameter size. So that should work. I don't have to trim that because I have enough piece and it's going to merge here. So I don't have to even trim that. So we can go to finish that is fully constrained and make sure that it's Finish the sketch and extrude 
directions has to change. And when you do that, switch to the cut mode, so make sure that you have not selected the cut. Go back to the join. And the size is one inch, which is already shows from the last uh, dimension and accept that. Okay. Now the last thing is left here is to add two holes. You could either use the circle and cut or the best to use the hole feature. Let's go back to assignment sheet and see what the size is. There are three inches diameter for the large one and one inch for small. Select the hold feature and set this one to one inch and select the face that you want the hold to be on that face and select the concentric by pointing to outside arc so these have a common centers and we will do okay this Come back to repeat for another hole on this side. This is one point, um, oh, three inches. I, that's three inches. And select the face that you want to be hole on that. And don't forget the concentric as well. And this is the default setting, the simple hole and goes all the way through, through all, and set the diameter. And that completes your drawing. Add the annotation information, and you have completed the assignment. And don't forget to save your work. Click the Save button and give the um, title as a name. So we'll say Save and then type, in this case, tube hanger, tube hanger. Okay, that concludes our project, uh, tube hanger project, and see you on the next video.